All right, so let's calculate the speed at 0 0.12 seconds, right? Um, there's two ways to do this. Uh, since it's the speed, we could use the speed formula, right? V is uh, plus or minus, right? Omega square root of x naught squared minus x squared, right? Okay. So uh, you're going to have to figure out the period, right? Omega is going to be 2 pi over the period. And you got to read the period off that graph. Okay, so this is off the graph. Right, x naught is the maximum displacement, right? Okay, so read that off the graph. I think it's like two centimeters or something, right? Okay, and then at 0 0.12 seconds, you've got to read where x is, right? So at 0 0.12, you've got to figure this out. Well, let's see, they're dividing 0 0.1 by, really they're dividing it by 20, right? Okay, so figure out where 0 0.12 is, okay? And then read the graph, read what it is, and then plug it into this thing that just erased itself. Okay, <laughs> okay. So that's that's way number one, right? Is to use uh, v is plus or minus omega square root of x naught uh, squared minus x squared, right? I chose to since that looks just like a cosine to me. I chose to use this family of formulas, right? So x uh, is x naught uh, cos omega t, right? So therefore, v is going to be so uh, what is it? V is just uh, negative omega x naught uh, sine omega t, right? And again, uh, your omega is going to come from 2 pi divided by the period, right? And the period you're going to read off the graph, right? And then uh, x naught, you have to read that off the previous graph. They, tell, they show you the displacement, right? So the maximum displacement is your amplitude. Um, and then just plug in 0.12 seconds for the time, and you'll get a velocity. And the velocity is between 0.3 and 0.4 meters per second, okay? Now, on letter four, it says state the direction of the motion at t is 0.12 seconds, right? Well, this is interesting, right? So we, at 0.12, we're, we're somewhere here, right? Okay, so 0.12 is in there, this would be this would actually be, let's see, one, two, three. This is 0.125 here, so 0.12 is somewhere in there, right? Okay, so notice that uh, we have moved all the way to the left and are going back to zero. So if we're at the all the way to the left and moving towards zero, aren't we moving to the right? That's kind of fun, huh? Okay, so we have a positive velocity here, which means we're moving to the right. This is a positive slope. Even though our displacement is negative, notice that the slope of this line here, doo -doo 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 -doo, if we could draw a straight line there, very hard to do with a, with a pen like that, right? The slope of that is positive, okay? So we're moving to our, ourself to the right since positive is to the right, okay? Yeah? 